bit of a tricky pass there, but he's got it above Stevens and Ian Goodison on that right-hand side. How important it is for Goodison to be playing today without his international teammate Whitmore. Goodison has been in fantastic form for the Tigers this season. A dinked ball through. Now it's come for Brown, but he did well to keep it on there. And I think it has, in actual fact, just gone off for a goal kick. Seems to be giving David Brown and Clint Marcel plenty of room at the back there. Certainly, Carlisle United will have to watch it. They ain't bottom of the league for nothing. And uh, I do feel there's goals in this game, Simon. Yeah, certainly. If you look at how things have been going uh, so far this season for Hull, peculiar to think, of course, they've only scored 16 goals this season in the league. Ace at home, eight away. Could be a chance for the 17th, maybe, here. Long-range effort from Brown. And what an absolutely wonderful shot by David Brown. Really came from nothing. A mistake by the goalkeeper. And with seven minutes on the clock here, Brown suddenly launches a 25-yarder diagonally across the box. And Hull, well, free kick anyway, as the game continues. Phil Pot, left-hand side. All I can say is I'm glad I'm not without some cover here. Phil Pot out swinging free kick towards the far post. It's come Sperry. Could be a chance here for Edwards. Might come back for Goodison and that is 2-0 for Hull City and the first goal for the Tigers for Ian Goodison. I do feel at one point City really are going to be made to pay from these corner kicks. Very close in now. Shot and a goal and it had to come at some point. And it has finally come. 